Welcome to the next segment in our Day in the Life series. In this series, we are covering the details of how to be a successful SolidWorks PDM administrator. In this episode, we will tackle a PDM client installation on a user's PC. Before installing the SolidWorks PDM client on a PC, we want to make sure that that PC meets the current system requirements laid out by SolidWorks. To find the latest system requirements for the SolidWorks PDM client, we want to check the SolidWorks website. I'm going to go ahead and drop the link to the system requirements page in the description of this video. To perform this installation, we also need to make sure that the account we're logged in as has local administrator rights. When we install the PDM client for both SOLIDWORKS PDM Professional or SOLIDWORKS PDM Standard, we utilize the SOLIDWORKS Installation Manager. Now, there's a few ways to get to the SOLIDWORKS Installation Manager. I'm going to show you both ways of accessing it. The first method of accessing the Installation Manager assumes that you already have it installed on your local machine. To find it, we're going to go to the Start Menu, Control Panel, Scroll down to Programs and Features. And we're going to take a look at the list of the programs that are installed on our machine. We're going to scroll down until we find SolidWorks. And if we do find it, it should show up with SolidWorks, the year, and the service pack. Once we find that, we can right click and hit Change. This will pop up the installation manager for the current year that you have installed. Uh, at this point, we would click on the Modify the Individual Installation and click Next. Now, if you are one of the users that has this um, installation manager already installed and you've gotten to this point, hang tight for a minute and we'll jump back in and pick up um, once we get the second method shown. Now, what happens if we don't have the installation manager already installed on the local PC? This is where the second option comes in. The second method will assume that we don't have the installation manager already installed, First, we'll need to obtain the SOLIDWORKS installation media that matches the year and service pack we need. This can be done by either downloading it from the SOLIDWORKS customer portal, which I will drop a link in the description for, or you can contact CTI technical support. By default, when we download the installation media through the setup files, the file should be located under Documents, SOLIDWORKS Downloads, and then inside of a folder with the, with the label SOLIDWORKS, the year and the service pack we're looking for. Now obviously, this could be different on your system if the files were saved somewhere else. Once we have located the installation media, we're going to go ahead and open this folder, scroll down and find the setup.exe, right click, run as administrator. You may be asked to enter your Windows credentials, um, otherwise you can click this yes to proceed. The SOLIDWORKS Installation Manager should pop up. Um, from here, we do have the option to download the entire media set for the installation files. If we do this, we could put it on a server and then share that to users so they could do the installation on their own. Uh, but for this example, I'm going to go ahead and stick with the individual installation on this computer. Once I have my, my installation on this computer, I'm going to go ahead and click Next. If you were one of the users that we told to hang on uh, back when we showed the first method, this is the point where you're going to want to jump back in and continue the installation. When we make it to this serial number screen, um, if we're just installing the PDM client, we can skip adding a serial number at this point. I'm going to go ahead and click Next, and I'll get this warning. I can go ahead and hit OK because I'm just going to be doing the PDM client installation. So the next thing we need to configure is the product selection screen in the summary tab. From this screen, we need to click the change hyperlink for the product category. This is where we're going to enable the PDM client by checking the box where it says SOLIDWORKS PDM client. We'll go ahead and go back to the summary screen. And at this point, we need to configure some options for the client we're about to install. We're going to find this SOLIDWORKS PDM options, click on change. So in this section, this is where we actually pick the type of PDM client that gets installed on our machine. This should match the vault type that you have installed currently. Uh, in this case, we're going to select the PDM professional product. 
Uh, next, we're gonna select the appropriate license type for this installation. In this example, we're gonna stay with the SolidWorks PDM CAD editor license type. Also, on this screen, it's time to select our add-ins. This is where we're going to select the add-ins that are installed with the PDM client. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and select SolidWorks add-in. Now, this doesn't actually install the full SolidWorks program, just the add-in that we will use when we access PDM from within SolidWorks. Now, keep in mind this add-in requires the CAD editor license type. If I switch to the contributor license type, you see that the SolidWorks and other CAD products disappear. So to make sure that I can actually get that SolidWorks um, add-in, I need to enable that CAD editor license to be able to select SolidWorks add-in. Now we're gonna go ahead and go back to the summary screen. Once we're back on the summary screen and we have everything configured, uh, we need to make sure that we accept the terms of the SolidWorks license agreement uh, by checking this box. After that, we can go down to the bottom here and select install now. So this installation is gonna take a few minutes. At this point, I'd say go grab a cup of coffee or maybe move on to another machine that needs PDM installed. Uh, but either way, it's gonna take a few minutes, so be patient. So once the installation is completed, we'll get this pop-up window that lets us know it's done. From this screen, you have the option to join the SolidWorks Customer Experience Improvement Program. Uh, for this demo, I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Next, go ahead and hit finish. Because of the nature of this installation, uh, you will be prompted to restart your PC now or later. I'm gonna go ahead and restart now. So now that we have the client installed, we still need to connect a vault view to the local PC. The next episode is gonna walk us through that process.